Financial experts are calling on the president to outline clear cut measures that will restore the economy. They spoke earlier on Inside Pages. I'm actually That's hoping fact, anyway. that tomorrow the president will announce some decisive action and not give us platitudes. Really? Yes. So he's addressing us tomorrow. It's about being decisive. It's about taking uncertainty away. That's true. It's about signaling a U-turn. We just need you. If anybody can tell Mr. President, we need you to be decisive. We need you to be decisive. On whether you want to keep your finance minister or you want to let him go. Be decisive. Either he gets your unequivocal support, and we all know where we sit and stand, or please take a decision now. Because at the end of the day, the budget which is expected to be brought out in three weeks' time could be jettisoned. Well, you know, when we go to the IMF meeting. So really, this budget is not going to be that budget which will have to be implemented in any case. So it should not be the basis for decisions of whether you keep Ken or don't want to keep Ken. You must make a decision. Either you keep him or you don't keep him. That's all there is to save ourselves from this uncertainty that we are in because it looks like Ken has lost the credibility. I personally think that he is not entirely to blame for the situation, even though he may have had some effect through the excessive borrowing. Excessive but borrowing, I think yeah, that yeah. basically he is not the one. The government must take a decision of where we are going, and they have not taken a decision. And that is where I think it is best for us to hear from the president tomorrow whether we are going forward to do the right thing or not to do it. If a parliament comes and they say that, look, we've got the two thirds, so therefore we don't need you as a man, you call it, um, the president has no choice than to say, Ken, go home. See. But then the question is this. Is it necessary for the president to wait for that? For me, if you realize that the man's, uh, what do you call it, uh, his fame and his, everything is coming down, <laughs> I think save him. Save him all this unnecessary humiliation. But how about Ken himself? Should he resign? Should he himself? Take but, the, himself. but the president is the one that receives your letter. Mm -hmm. So if you can, you are prepared to even resign. And the president says, put your letter in your pocket. What can you do?